A heart attack, also known as a myocardial infarction, occurs when a portion of the heart muscle does not receive enough blood. The longer it goes without treatment to restore blood flow, the more damage is done to the heart muscle. The most common cause of a heart attack is coronary artery disease CAD, a strong spasm or sudden constriction of a coronary artery, which can cut off blood supply to the heart muscle, is a less common reason. Most heart attacks are characterized by discomfort in the center or left side of the chest that lasts more than a few minutes or that goes away and returns. The discomfort might manifest as pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain. Feeling weak, dizzy, or faint, you might also break out in a cold sweat. In this video, we are going to talk about warning signs of heart attack. So before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number 15. Chest Pain the term chest pain refers to discomfort or agony felt along the front of your body, between and including your neck and upper belly. There are numerous reasons for chest pain that are unrelated to your heart. However, chest pain remains the most prevalent sign of inadequate blood supply to the heart or a heart attack. Angina is the medical term for this type of chest pain. When the heart does not receive enough blood or oxygen, it experiences chest pain. Pain intensity and nature might differ from person to person. Some people may experience excruciating agony, while others may just experience slight discomfort. Your chest may feel heavy, as if someone is pressing it against your heart. A sharp, scorching ache in your chest is also possible. You may experience pain in your neck, limbs, stomach, jaw, or upper back, as well as under your breastbone, sternum. Angina causes chest pain that worsens with exercise or emotion and goes away with rest or nitroglycerin. Chest pain can also be caused by indigestion. Number 14. Shortness of breath. When the heart is unable to pump blood as efficiently as it should, blood accumulates in the veins that connect the lungs to the heart. Shortness of breath is caused by fluid leakage into the lungs. This is an indication of cardiac failure. You might experience shortness of breath. During the course of an activity, while you are sleeping, when you're resting flat on your back, it can even wake you up. Number 13. Coughing or wheezing. Coughing or wheezing that doesn't go away can be another sign that fluid is building up in your lungs. You may also cough up mucus that is pink or bloody. Number 12. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet. Another indicator of a cardiac disease is swelling, edema, in your lower legs. When your heart isn't working properly, blood flow slows and backs up in your leg veins. Fluid accumulates in your tissues as a result of this. You may also have stomach swelling or gain weight. Number 11. Poor blood supply to extremities. Narrowing of the blood vessels that bring blood to other parts of the body is not the same as heart disease, but it may mean you have a much higher risk of a heart attack than you otherwise would. It can occur when cholesterol and other fatty materials, plaque, build up on the walls of your arteries. A lack of blood circulation to the legs can result in muscle pain, achiness, weariness, burning or soreness in your feet, calves or thighs. Symptoms that arise during walking or exertion and disappear after a few minutes of rest. When you are at rest, you may experience numbness in your legs or feet. Your legs may also feel chilly to the touch and have pale skin. A stroke happens when blood flow to a portion of the brain is interrupted. A stroke is often known as a brain attack. Stroke symptoms can include difficulty moving limbs on one side of your body, drooping on one side of your face, loss of sensation on one side of your body, and difficulty speaking or understanding language. Number 10. Fatigue. Tiredness can be caused by a variety of factors. Sometimes it just implies that you need to get some more rest. However, feeling exhausted can be an indication of a more serious problem. Fatigue may indicate cardiac disease when you're substantially more fatigued than usual. 
Women are often extremely exhausted before or after a heart attack. You are so exhausted that you are unable to carry out your typical everyday activities. You've experienced a sudden and acute weakening. If your heart can't pump blood as well, it may beat faster to try to keep up. You may feel your heart racing or throbbing. A fast or uneven heartbeat can also be a sign of an arrhythmia. This is a problem with your heart rate or rhythm. Number 9. Fast or uneven heartbeat, palpitations. If your heart can't pump blood as well, it may beat faster to try to keep up. You may feel your heart racing or throbbing. A fast or uneven heartbeat can also be a sign of an arrhythmia. This is a problem with your heart rate or rhythm. Number 8. Feel dizzy or lightheaded. Many causes can cause you to lose your balance or feel faint for a brief while. Perhaps you didn't eat or drink enough, or you stood up too quickly. However, if you suddenly feel shaky and have chest discomfort or shortness of breath, seek medical attention right away. It could mean your blood pressure has dropped because your heart isn't pumping as well as it should. Number 7. Throat or Jaw Pain Throat or jaw pain by itself is unlikely to be related to the heart. It's usually caused by a muscle condition, a cold, or a sinus problem. However, if you have discomfort or pressure in the center of your chest that radiates into your throat or jaw, this could be an indication of a heart attack. Number 6. Get exhausted easily. Make an appointment with your doctor immediately if you suddenly feel exhausted or breathless after doing something you had no issue doing in the past, such as ascending the stairs or carrying groceries from the car. These types of significant changes are more important to us than every little ache and pain you might be feeling. Extreme tiredness and unexplained weakness, which can last for days at a time, might be a sign of heart disease, particularly in women. Number 5. Pain that spread to the arm. The nerves that branch from the heart and those coming from the arm send signals to the same brain cells. As a result, the brain cannot isolate the source of the pain. This phenomenon, called referred pain, explains why a person experiencing a heart attack might feel arm pain without having chest pain. Another classic heart attack symptom is pain that radiates down the left side of the body. It almost always starts from the chest and moves outward, Chambers says. But I have had some patients who have. The nerves that branch from the heart and those coming from the arm send signals to the same brain cells. As a result, the brain cannot isolate the source of the pain. This phenomenon, called referred pain, explains why a person experiencing a heart attack might feel arm pain without having chest pain, mainly arm pain that turned out to be heart attacks. Number 4. Snoring Snoring is often the sign of a condition called obstructive sleep apnea, which raises the risk for diabetes, obesity, hypertension, stroke, heart attack, and other cardiovascular problems. It's natural to snore a little when sleeping. However, unusually loud snoring that sounds like gasping or choking can indicate sleep apnea. That is when you stop breathing briefly multiple times during the night while still asleep. This puts additional strain on your heart. Your doctor can determine whether you require a sleep study to determine whether you have this issue. If so, you may require a CPAP machine to smooth out your breathing while sleeping. Number 3. A cough that won't quit. Most of the time, this isn't an indicator of a cardiac problem. However, if you have heart disease or know you're in danger, you should be extra cautious. A persistent cough that generates white or pink mucus could be a symptom of heart failure. This occurs when the heart cannot keep up with the demands of the body, causing blood to flow back into the lungs. Number 2. Sweating. Excessive sweating can be a sign of a heart attack and may be associated with other symptoms, including pain or pressure in your chest or arms that radiates to your neck, jaw, or back, shortness of breath. Breaking out in a cold sweat for no obvious reason could signal a heart attack. If this happens along with any of these other symptoms, call 911 to get to a hospital right away. Don't try to drive yourself. Number 1. Irregular heartbeat.
damaged muscles disrupt the electrical signals that control the heart. Some arrhythmias, such as tachycardia, are mild and cause symptoms such as palpitations, the sensation of your heart pounding, fluttering, or beating irregularly, felt in your chest or throat, chest pain. It is normal for your heart to race when you are frightened or excited, or for it to skip or add a beat every now and again. However, if you are experiencing palpitations, consult your doctor. If you have persistent palpitations or an irregular heartbeat, as well as chest pain or pressure, dizziness, or shortness of breath, dial 911. In most cases, it's caused by something simple, like too much caffeine or not getting enough sleep. However, it may occasionally indicate a condition known as atrial fibrillation, which requires treatment. Did you find these tips helpful? If yes, then kindly subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon to get notified about new videos.